made it up to season one, episode five of The Crown. Smoke and mirrors. I don't know. We're going to hide stuff. Anyway, so the um, uh, we're up to the point in, in the show where the queen is about to be coronated, officially made the queen. She was acting queen before. It took a while to get the coronation put together, mainly so Winston Churchill could stay prime minister and have an excuse to be there. Um, but uh, uh, as part of it, the coronation is a, a ceremony with the origins dating back a thousand years or something. And it um, uh, has a lot going on because you know the, she um, she wants to kind of bring it into a modern world, or she wants her family to have more of a voice. I think so. She puts her husband on the coronation committee, in fact, in charge of it, and he kind of goes a little crazy. Um, not crazy in in a bad sense, crazy in a I think he did the right thing sense. He wanted to put it on television, which you know, nowadays you're like absolutely stream it straight to the net, right? Well, then it was a little different, right? So. He, he wanted people to actually see what was going on. And if you look in depth at the ceremony and they actually do explain it in the show, there's things where they even hide the queen from view of those present, right? So you don't see what's going on. You don't see how she's transformed from a human into something more than that, where she's been touched by God and, and all these things. And it's interesting because when her husband first has the idea of putting it on TV, uh, a bunch of the elites, the political elites, and those who've been dukes and earls and all these titles, 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 uh, are kind of like, we don't really want that, right? And and I think the reason they didn't want that is because they didn't want people like you and I to see what really goes on. Don't look behind the magic curtain, right? Smoke and mirrors. Um, you don't see that it really is just a, a woman going through a ceremony and she's believe what you want to believe but going in and coming out is she really transformed is she really any different or is she the same person just having gone through this ceremonial uh kind of of thing uh also in the middle of all this we've got this whole thing still going on with her uncle her grandmother passes away um the uncle's pissed off because you know, he has to go to his mother's funeral by himself nobody wants his wife there um and uh, uh they're also saying dude you know you can come to the coronation, but we're not really going to want you kind of close to her. We want you way in the back, you know, like at the kids' table. Uh, and you can't bring your wife. So, of course, he's like, nope, not coming. Um, so he holds a party at his house and kind of explains what's going on to people. And um, it's interesting because through his eyes, you can kind of see that, you know, it really is more smoke and mirrors. I think the episode is very appropriately named um that uh uh you know the i think in the modern sense in the modern era that starting kind of right around here the veil was being lifted from you know is the modern is the, the royal family really the right way to rule england or is it just kind of this thing that's more ceremonial in nature and just because you happen to be born in the right family in the right order doesn't mean you're the right person to be in charge of anything so uh i find it very interesting um and i think the more we relieve ourselves societally of those smoke and mirrors to say hey look you know the way we've always done things all those 500 year old thousand year old traditions 250 year old traditions here in the united states maybe there was some smoke and mirrors going on when that was was brought about and yeah. maybe some of that stuff needs to be modernized and i think um we're in a, an age and a, a time when that really does is an appropriate question to, to ask and we probably should have asked it 60 years ago but you know, is the same thing that was was valid for us 250, 300 years ago still valid today? And I'm not talking about anything in particular. I'm not saying, oh, it's this or that or the other. I'm not saying any politician politics. I'm just saying England kind of proved to us that after a thousand years of tradition, some things should be modernized. And that's probably the right choice here in the United States. We don't have a thousand years of tradition. We have 250. But is it appropriate for us to start to look back and say, what's the right things that should change and what should we leave the same? And I think this episode, if you really dig deep into the sort of meaning of it, I think this episode kind of kind of points that out. I hope everybody has a great week.